you doing? I want to welcome you to the third installment within this uh, How To Garage Band uh, video instruction series here on YouTube. This video is going to show you a brief overview of how to create a small uh, professional sounding drum library. Uh, you're looking for a drum sample, you're going to want to get drums that are unaccompanied by any other sound so they don't have instruments in the background or people singing or rapping in the background. It would just be the, the snare drum or the bass drum that you hear playing by itself. So uh, I brought in a few um, songs where, where I know that that is the case. Um, <clears throat> um, so the first track that I have brought into sample is, I actually don't remember, so let me see, we'll play this. Okay, so the, the first track is Queen's We Will Rock You, so they have uh, some really heavy uh, bass type sounds, which are the people stamping and some claps. So here what you see is this is um, the two bases and then this is a clap. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to take off snap the grid if it's already on. That way you can get some real pre uh, precise cuts. You're going to want to cut right before the sound wave starts and right when it diminishes. And I'm going to do the same. This will be the second. We're going to take two uh, bass hits and two, two uh, high-end claps or snare hits. So those are the two bases. Now... Here's the first clap. I'm going to erase these two bases because we already have two bases. And I'm going to grab the second clap, which is right here. All right. Take those and move those to the front. This way I keep everything in order. Um, now what I'm going to do is move on to this. This is really quick. You see, it's quick, simple, and easy. So this is the second track I brought in the sample. Um, this track is... <laughs> All right, James Brown, say it loud. Uh, as you heard, when he first comes in, uh, he's he's yelling over the top of the uh, track, so we're not going to want that first hit. But we're going to want that snare drum, which is unaccompanied by any other sound. So there's a snare drum. We're going to want to take that where it's died off. Uh, there are going to be some hi hats coming in, so you want to, if you want, take it off before the hi hat comes in, or else that will get mixed in with your sound. That's not what I want. There's a bass drum right there, and there's another snare drum here, so I'm going to take the beginning of that and cut off the end. So that's about basically what I'm going to get from that song, sounds like two snare drums and one bass drum. Now you might ask, why are you getting two snares or two bass drums from one track? Well, it's because since it's a live recording, each bass drum is going to be different and significant, uh, have a significant sound when compared to the the uh, uh, each of the other ones so each one's going to be unique so what's this alright this is uh... jeez I forgot but uh... if you can tell it's it's the same sample that Raekwon has on his incarcerated Scarface uh, track from only built for Cuban Links 1 uh, I forget who the original artist is, but this looks like a bunch. I mean, you could tell what, which are the bass, which ones are the snares. They're the ones that have the really high peaks. Um, everything else is just noise or white noise or whatever. So we're going to get rid of that. I'm just going to go through and chop it up, chop it up. So I'm going to assume that we have a bunch of bass drums and snare drums in there now. I'm going to space them out a bit just because uh, I don't like it being all cluttered like this. So now what I'm going to show you is um, sounds that come... Oh, wait, got one more. Sorry about that. Okay. This is uh, samples off of Jay-Z's Empire State of Mind. If you saw the last video, I used these drums for the, the track. So I'm just going to use these again. Cut it up. So right there, you hear you got a good snare drum. I think these are is a bass drum here. All right, there's a bass drum right there. Some of the stuff isn't as easy to cut as other things. Uh, it's got a bunch of noises in it, so it's not so easy to chop up. There's a lot of hi hats playing in the background that I don't necessarily want. All right, so we'll just assume right there we got one bass drum, one snare drum. So those are all from uh, live recordings or tracks or whatever, you know. 
things that you can get on vinyl, a sample of vinyl or from other hip hop. So this though are, are, are beats that I took from uh, your garage band. So these are, you come over here to this eyeball, which uh, you open up all drums and then you can click and have drums there. Now most of these drums, I mean, when you listen to that, it doesn't really sound like much of a promising hip hop beat, but a lot of the sounds in there are good. And you can put these down in your track, uh, your track files, and they come out as audio waves, which you can then sample, just like I sampled the last tracks. Now I'm going to sample these GarageBand loop uh, sounds that come with the loops, and these are really nice and crisp. I really like these. So right there, with this one, there's just a snare drum I want to take. So there's my snare drum. You find that. You know, just getting one really good snare drum is really worth the time and effort because uh, it can really make or break your beat. So right there, it's a bass drum and a snare drum. Let's see on this next track. All right, yeah, I really like this one. I'll take two bass drums and. Snare drum. I really like the snare. It's like a clap sound. I actually use this specific sample on a lot of my different uh, beats. All right. Beats. So uh, my computer I froze up, but I think we're right back on track. Here you see I have everything uh, all chopped up, basically ready to go. Uh, like I showed in the last videos, what you're gonna want to do next is you're gonna want to create a uh, track and go to a uh, software instrument. You're gonna wanna make it a sound effect instrument. I'm gonna pick applause laughter. So now I will open up my musical typing. There it is. And I'm gonna go up to all the sounds I brought. And I'm just gonna drag and drop them in, drag and drop each one into a space. So these are the bass and snares. One thing I didn't mention that uh, I realized I should mention is I was taking, whenever I could, one or two different bass or snares when I was sampling uh, live recordings. But when I was sampling stuff from the GarageBand software, it's just I don't take two basses and two snares because basically they're they're just playbacks from like an automated drum machine, and their basses all all the bass drums, snare drums are going to just be the same hit. Uh, over and over again where again like I said when you're taking something live it's not going to be the same hit over and over again it's going to be a different hit different bass drum different snare drum because the person who's playing it's dynamic so each thing they play is going to be unique and different uh, it looks like we're going to fill this up uh, so again just as a quick overview of how to sample you just cut up stuff and then you just drop drag and drop it into the musical type of keyboard and the only thing you can only instrument you can do that with is the uh, sound effects instruments all the other software instruments you can't load samples into those so as you see this is a real quick and easy process to create your drum library and now here I have everything mapped out on my uh, musical type of keyboard Alright, so that's a quick overview of how to start creating a drum library. If I were you, I would continue to build your library until you know you have something that you're really happy with. The next video that I'm going to have will show you how to use Auto-Tune and how to uh, GarageBand's a version of Auto-Tune and how to incorporate that into a beat rather than making it into your verse or the hook. I'm going to show how to make it kind of a more of a background ambiance thing that won't really take center stage in your track but will give you another instrument to use within uh, the beat making. Thank you.